we got onto the floor again. And we made our way to the right. We are safer. I mean, after all, I'm not here to see what the kids are thinking. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. And life, or everything we hear about it, it must have some good purposes. Life can, well, for example, it's good for measuring distance. Light year, or traveling at the speed of you get the idea. So I got onto the bus and was headed there and I realized that I the thing I have most against life is I can be a bit harsh sometimes. Uh, don't get me wrong, it, it's not that I always love living in darkness, but well, darkness does I'm proud of myself. After all, people can say that I pose very profound inquiries to people, fascinating people. Um, in darkness, for well, all its limitations, I can veil you like the warm light of falling snow. Light, though, well, it remains hard to measure sometimes. Unsurprisingly, when I got off the bus, stepped into the city, well, here's what I found. First of all, we understand there's this person who hurt me really bad, and in this instance, I want justice. Not the other way around. But in the city, I was told that I was unforgiving. I have a healthy self-esteem. Uh, I'm reasonable and I expect a reasonable amount of respect. But in the city, I was very unfair. I have a small private habit. It doesn't hurt anybody. In the city, I was told I was a pervert. <laughs> There's this person, this, this woman that, I, well, I was there for her when she needed me, but, but where was she when, when I needed her? I loved much, but she loved little. In the city, I was told my dad was narcissist. In the city, I was told that I was jealous, angry, but darkness. Darkness is my friend. I seem to be one. What, what should be mine? City of Light, so much for kind rainbows and cheery sunrise. I hopped right back onto the bus and we took off for the land of darkness. Much to my regret. Let me give you an example. <laughs> I had a night vision at the doorway to the world of, of sleep. I saw light become a man. The waves or particles or, or well, whatever it is that light is, was enrobed in flesh. He could eat, run, perspire, defecate. A, a real radical. He spoke hard truths, liberated the oppressed, exalted the poor, balanced the system. He, he was the type that intimidated career politicians, bank CEOs, and, and all those in power. But I reasoned that he might be interested in one of my political poems, or be impressed by my book. A lot of writers have thought my work to be really perceptive. So I thought I could contribute so, some of my ideas, some of my insights to society. We could labor together in, in common calls and, and craft a vision for a better world. I saw how my gifts could be of use to him. So I approached life. He, uh, he told me. He told me. He 
said that what I needed to do was become like a little child again. Childhood, where we where we ask questions to find answers and not just the sound impression. And that if I were to just abandon everything and follow him, he'd, he'd take me to this land where the questions fade. Who do you think you are? Huh? Who do you think you are? Here, here in the darkness, my questions don't need an answer. Here in the darkness, who the hell are you? 